So I just moved from Portland uh, literally a few months ago. I was there for four years. To where? Uh, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But I, really? Yeah, I still air in both Pittsburgh and Portland. And I'm anxious to see what you thought of Portland because, you know, I have my own... Uh, well, yeah, because I was going to ask you, why would you move away from Portland? <laughs> I mean, it's, the rain, I can't handle the rain. Yeah, well, I'm from, I'm from Seattle, so oh, okay, I, right. I understand you, that. All right. um, but as far as uh, cities on the move go, yeah. Portland's... Yeah, I live between a, uh, a volcano and a mountain, so it was, you know, yeah. it's like, you got that going for you. Right, right. But, I mean, some people you don't understand, you tell them it rains every day, whether it be 10 seconds or... And that's why there's roses everywhere, I try to tell everybody, but... So, if, for, from Seattle, then, I mean, there's really not that much difference, I think, between Seattle and Portland. Maybe Weather-wise, no. No, people yeah. might be a bit stranger, I think, but... Uh, In Portland? Yeah, they're a little... They love... Portland's got a weird... There's they a, love there's being a, weird. In there's fact, a faction yeah. of society in Portland that is, yeah, that's pretty off the mark. Yeah. Were, you, were you able to visit the, the bookstore... What was it, um, um, the biggest one the in the big, world? Yeah, the biggest one in the world. Powell's, I believe. Powell's Bookstore, yeah. Were you able to do that? Um, I actually went there a couple of times. I got lost in there. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a maze. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the... Uh, so tell me how this works, because I mean, uh, you were kind of emotionless in this movie. You're this cop that comes in there, uh, just obviously doesn't know anything about the cyber crimes division and so forth. But how do you... I would imagine... I know I read that you had, like somebody on set with you or something? How do you be, how do you have people, what do they think of these people like you coming in and portraying them? Is they, well, do they want it to be real or do they? Absolutely they do. And th that's why, that's why they take on the, the job. And when, when they're asked to come and be a tech advisor, I think obviously their, their main concern is, well, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. I don't want anybody making a shambles of it, you know? Um, and my first uh, rule in, in approaching anything is, you know, how do I find a way to tell the truth? So uh, when I first read the script and, and started reading uh, this guy, um, the first thing that came to mind was, was that, you know, this guy's got to be relaxed. Um, and magically enough, when I went up to Portland and started hanging out with, uh, with these two detectives, uh, one of, there was a, a man and a woman, they were partners, but the guy, Barry, uh, had this demeanor that I was looking for. Um, and I find that to be pretty true with a lot of detectives that I've met. It's, you, have to, you have to be calm in a lot of situations that, that, would, call, that would make other people go nuts. Yeah. Do they, um, do they let you go out on the job with them? Or, I mean, how do you actually learn? Or they just come here and they... They actually took me through um, some of their cases. We went, to, we would go and sit down um, uh, at, the, at their office and go through uh, A to Z some of the... I, and I don't even know if they were allowed to do this with me. But they were, they were cool enough and gracious enough to do it with me. And, uh, I mean... I saw some stuff that I'm not sure that I, that I should have seen, but it was fascinating. It was yeah. great. Yeah. Great film. Thanks, man.